So this video isn't about uh, EVs, it is about uh, tool chest storage. So I've recently bought myself a tool chest, I've wanted one for years, and I saw there was lots of videos on YouTube, people showing you how they'd organised their tool chest. But I found um, what I couldn't find is any divider products. So while there's all sorts of products for arranging um, spanners and sockets, um, I, I had that tray myself, bought it years and years ago, never used it, and finally um, I put it to use inside the um, drawer here. But there was very few products for dividing drawers up. One guy had made some Perspex uh, U-shaped uh, assemblies. They were brilliant, but I couldn't find anyone uh, who was making them. And I don't have the facilities myself to bend Perspex. So what I came up with is aluminium T-bar. So that's why I thought I'd do this video, because they work really well and it might help someone else out there who's looking for um, dividers for their tool trays. So this is 40mm by 40mm aluminium. I went with that because a 40mm base is a bit more sturdy and it won't fall over if you're knocking tools against it. And uh, I bought it from an online aluminium um, supplier. I'll put the link below in the description. But I bought four metres of this 40mm by 40mm. It's also 3mm thick as well. Um, and they sell two meters for 1366 or 40 uh, four meters for just under 27 quid so that's what i bought they then charged a, a fee of a few quid for cutting so um what i got is nine short ones for going lengthways in the shorter drawers and then four long ones for dividing the larger drawers uh, the total bill, you have to pay delivery, so the delivery was almost as much as the product, but in total it's cost 50 quid and I've got more than enough dividers for what I, for what I need. So um, let's just show you the way they work. So um, I haven't uh, finished organising the uh, drawers yet, so they're only in here temporarily to just see how it works, and when I'm happy I will then cut the um, bottom foam and put them underneath but uh, I'm just playing around with them for now but you know they work really well and you can actually leave it like that they're sturdy enough that they don't topple over um, if I just look at my screwdrivers up here there I've cut the foam here so I've got my posi screwdrivers one side I've got a lot more of those and then I've got some Phillips screwdrivers this side and I want the divider there I've cut the foam um, so the divider is just sitting there on the floor, but the foam holds it in place and it can't move. But if you wanted to make it a bit more permanent, you could stick that down with some silicon or some sticky pads and that will be rock solid. But actually it's not going to go anywhere because the foam's stopping it. So it works really well. Um, and I've done another jaw up there as well. Uh, I've got uh, Torx, uh, Hex and something else is going to go there. So yeah, that's... That's uh, pretty much all I've got to say. It's a really nice solution. Um, it's not cheap, 50 quid all in, but I've got more dividers than I'll probably use. Um, and there was no cutting because I told them the length I want and they all come pre-cut, very accurate with the cuts as well. Um, and they make a really good solution.